Hey Rap Bags, it's Jay. Today with the news when you're going to be able to play the centre map, what time it's meant to be dropping. Also, it's been leaked that there is going to be a paid dinosaur DLC added to this map. Also briefly going over the fact that the Dragon Boss is still broken busted and how AI is probably going to put me out of a job soon. So leave a like, find this useful and let's get down to business. So as always, wildcard just basically say F you to anyone that lives outside of America because they're launching it at 3am in the morning in the UK, 4am in most of Europe. 7pm Pacific time is when they're scheduling the center to go live on all platforms tomorrow. Now it's not unheard of, kind of got used to the ride, but there is a lot of feedback that's been given to them and there's a lot of game devs out there that don't do these types of times. So I struggle to see why wildcard persist in probably the most unfriendliest. Like if you did this in the morning in America, then that's evening time for Europe. Everyone gets to experience it on the day. Saying that your game releases on a certain day when half the world doesn't actually get to access it to the next day doesn't really make much sense. And yes, I know Australia gets something the day after and people in Asia get the day after, but the bulk of the player base that plays Ark is in America and Europe. And of course, this is not taking into account their usual lateness. So if you was expecting it at 3 a.m. in the morning in the UK, it probably wouldn't actually arrive by then. Last time Scorched Earth ended up being late, me and Raz did some like mega stream, and I fully expect something to go wrong once again. Well, it might not appear on Steam, but it will appear on Xbox or PlayStation first. Who knows? So, where's this leak for a new dinosaur come from? The Arc Ambassador program. Arcade, whatever you want to call it. Noise are basically owned by Snail Games. They're a PR company that deal with outreach for basically keys for Arc. And they've got creators to stream it. You've got some prizes, yada, 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 yada. That was all with the launch. Then they kind of shut it down. But it looks like you can join and request to have a new quest, which basically gives you a free key and a $5 new dinosaur DLC for the center map. And its name is Pyromane. The first member of the Fantastic Tames, a new premium class of creatures with incredible unique abilities. So what's the Pyromane's unique ability? It can transform from a tiny shoulder mounted kitten to a full sized rideable lion. No, I shit you not. The leak goes on to say you'll receive two game keys. The first is the base Art Survival Sended key and the second is for the new paid Pyromane Dino. Just when I was thinking that maybe I could turn a corner. I literally did a video a couple days ago saying I'm looking forward to the centre map. It seems to be going well. Everything's going to be arriving on time. And now, of course, we've got more DLC. Look, I'm not going to go too mad. We've got paid mods now launching on PlayStation tomorrow. That's happening now. They've been on Xbox. They've been on PC. So what's the big deal about five bucks, five quid for a new dinosaur? I mean, don't forget, we've also got this happening with the Power Rangers stuff. We don't know what kind of price point that's going to be. But obviously, that's not happening until next month. So it just becomes a bit of an issue that we're just not getting told about this up front. And again, they're kind of leaving out certain maps to double dip. It's bad enough we paid for this remaster, even though originally it was going to be free upgrade. Then it turns out that we've got to pay for the adventure packs. Now, admittedly, the season pass wasn't as expensive as the first thought it was. And originally, I thought, or the way they made it sound was, that we would actually get part of that season pass content for the adventure packs. It would be for all the other maps as well, not just the DLC ones, but the community maps as well. So like Valguero, Ragnarok, the Center. That we'd get a new dinosaur added to that well i was kind of right i was kind of right that it would be dlc i just didn't expect it to be separate paid dlc like how much do you want to just keep milking the community here and this will be the first of a bunch so clearly these are going to be arriving with every community map and it sets off that argument how much more pay to win is it Ark's always been to pay to win, some idiots don't believe it, but of course it has. But he's always been able to set that off with players in a tribe and officials sharing that with you. And even some more aspects of the DLC being able to be spawned in on your private worlds or whatever on Xbox and PlayStation and PC years ago. So I'm not probably going to lose my crap too much over this. We'll have to see how it is, but five bucks for just one dinosaur? Given you used to pay 15 bucks and get about 7 or 8 new creatures plus all the other stuff, it's starting to feel like this content is being spread very thin and making us buy more and more of it. At least with the mods, some of that money goes to modders, 
but now we got to pay more money just directly to snail games who we all know are absolute twats like i don't want to hear any dickhead comments saying oh no games got to be made you know how else do you expect these devs to make their games i expect any company that's made hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars like snail and wildcard to maybe invest their money wisely instead of shitting it up the wall on electric cars and other nonsense We've seen that they may be prepping the world, prepping the ARC player base for it with some of the latest creatures that they've been offering, like that weird shellfish that could transform into something else or whatever it was. That was a paid dinosaur, but they were mods. Anywho, this looks like it is a wildcard thing. It's not simply just a paid mod. It is going to be a paid DLC, and it is coming with the center map. And if we start racking it up, though, Ragnarok, Valguero, the center map. Lost Island, Fjordor, Crystal Isles. So that's six new, maybe, DLCs being added for another 30 bucks. It's just all so confusing. Why not put it all in just one actual proper season pass? Maybe they will do that, and I'll say that's probably a good idea. My big criticism of the actual adventure packs was that they were forcing everyone to basically buy it in one go, mainly because, you know, paying for something that you might not receive for ages is annoying. So why not just sell it separately and let people choose which one they might like to enjoy? So at least this way, if you don't like the look at this dinosaur as soon as you see it, you'll know not to waste your time. But yeah, you guys tell me, is this okay on top of everything else? The most kind of annoying aspect is that the game is still kind of busted, just like the original was. I've been tagged in a bunch of stuff and people have been talking about issues still with the invisible dragon boss fight still on Arc Ascended. How can the remaster have just as many problems and issues as the base game? And how can developers not be bothering their fucking asses to maybe fix major issues like an invisible boss before shelling out and selling more DLC? So the other bit of news is that we have basically got Ark being used as a guinea pig with Nvidia to basically have some AI help you play the game. It's not the end of the world, these things are going around a while, but yeah, it could potentially put YouTubers out of a job, and certainly maybe some wikis, if you can get the info there and then. But obviously this has all been scraped from either YouTubers, wikis, that's the kind of stuff that it is scraping the info from normally. But yeah, the idea is that you'd open up this uh, G-Assist, and basically it will tell you and teach you how to play the game if you're stuck. You know what, whatever, I'm, I'm done trying to argue against AI. If it helps gamers get something a bit quicker, then sure, why not? Clearly though, only for PC players, consoles, you can just run around like monkeys, looking up YouTube videos as always. No word when exactly this is going to come in, it was part of some presentation with NVIDIA, but it looks to be arriving eventually soon, I guess, or activated. Is it worth paying 5 bucks for this? If you want every each individual dinosaur, it's going to be worth 30 bucks on top of the adventure pack, on top of the remaster, on top of the paid mods. Is this all becoming just a huge cash grab? But there we go, folks. We've got a time at least. I am not staying up. I'm just going to get up nice, bright and early. Hopefully have a nice morning stream for you guys checking out the centre. My favourite map. I'm going to just pretend and ignore all the bad stuff. And just hopefully this new dinosaur doesn't end up being just a complete waste of people's money or certainly maybe just a waste of time. Let me know what you think about it all. I'll see you at bags, hopefully for the center's launch eventually.